Good morning. In this video, I want to demonstrate how you can use a file to issue multiple requests against an API, which is useful for situations where you need to put your application into a particular state before you can do something, or for demonstrations where you want to repeat the same process multiple times, or to just initialize some data in an API. So you can see I'm in Postman and I have the send HSM request. And if you look at the body, you can see I've used the squiggly bracket syntax to indicate a number of variables where I want some data to be inserted into the body of the request I'm about to issue. In order to do that, I'm going to come over here and right click on the three buttons next to the collection name and I'm going to choose run collection and then I'm going to deselect all the other requests because the only request I actually want to run is this send HSM request. I'm then going to head over here and I'm going to click select file and I'm going to select this JSON file that contains the data that I want to use to populate the body of my request. So I'm going to click open and you'll see that it will show me that the data file type is a JSON file and it's got this preview button next to that. So if I click that, you can see that the data that I'm about to use to populate that template. And one of the things you can see over here is that I have seven iterations of my of my data. So I want to issue this request seven times and have each row here populated for each individual request. In order to do that, I'm going to leave this iterations at seven. I'm going to not change the delay between the requests and I'm going to say that I want to save these responses. I'm then going to click on the run GVI WhatsApp button, which is the name of the collection that I want to run. And you'll see that it will start issuing those requests. And once it's completed, you can see the view summary and run again buttons on the on the top. You can also quickly navigate to exactly the request you want to see by clicking these numbers along the right hand side. If you hover over any one of these requests, you'll see that a line appears under the name of the request. And if you click on that, you can get additional information about the request that was issued. So for instance, if I open this request body, I can see that this particular request used that number for the recipient. It used that template name and it used Terry and Tuesday for the parameters. If I go to a different request and I open this one and I look at the request body, you can see that it used Frank and Friday for the parameters. So I can issue a number of different requests and have each of these requests um, be populated with the data from my file. Another thing you can do is you can open up the response body and you can see what the API responded with. So for this particular request, you can see that the ID here started with 4C72. If I click on a different request and I look at its response body, I can see that it has a different ID for for the response from, from that request. So that's how you can populate your API or call the same request with different parameters a number of times. The last thing I just want to show you is the syntax for what that file looks like. So you can see it's a simple array where each value that I want to use has a name and a value inside of the JSON document that I'm preparing. So in this case, I want to specify four different parameters. I want to specify the recipient, the template name, the recipient name, and the recipient day. So if I go back and I look at what this particular request looks like, you can see that the, whatever in my JSON file has the value for recipient is populated here. 
which whatever has the template name is populated here the recipient name and the recipient day will simul similarly be populated over there i can also use static values for things that don't change so in this case for instance i'm just hard coding the type of request to hsm because that's the kind of request that i want to send because in my data all the template names actually were the same i could have also just hard coded the template name over here so that is how you can use a data file to populate different sets of data and issue the same request multiple times using a data file. Thank you very much.